Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this interesting shape as you can see in this diagram with these given side lengths as you can see over here. And now we are going to calculate the area and the perimeter of this shape. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this given shape first. To make our job easier, let me go ahead and divide this given shape into three parts. Let me go ahead and draw this perpendicular line over here and this perpendicular line over here as well. And as a result, this shape has been divided into three parts. This one, this one and this one. Let me call the area of this uh, part as an a sub 1 and this one I'm going to call a sub 2 and this one a sub 3 and now we are going to calculate a sub 1, a sub 2 and a sub 3. Now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, shaded part and now as we can see that uh, this uh, square is not included in this uh, area. So the easiest way is going to be calculate the area of this uh, hole and then subtract uh, the area of this uh, square. And now we know that all these sides, this side, this side, this side and this side, they have the same length. This side has length 9. So this has got to be 9. This is 9 and this 9 as well. So therefore this whole length is going to be 12 plus 9 and plus 9. If we add these 12 plus 9 plus 9 is going to give us 30 units. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length times width. In our case our this length is 30 and the width is 21 units. So therefore let's go ahead and calculate area a sub 1 is going to be length in our case is 30 times the width is 21. And now let's focus on the area of this uh, tiny square. So the side length is 9. So 9 times 9 is going to become 81. So the area of this square turns out to be 81. So let's go ahead and subtract uh, this uh, area from a sub 1. So let me subtract 81. So let's simplify this one. So when we multiply this thing that's going to give us uh, 630 minus uh, 81 and that is going to be 549 square units. Thus the area a sub 1 turns out to be 549. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area a sub 2 of this uh, rectangle. And we know that this whole length is 30 units and this uh, length is 18. So therefore this length is going to be 30 minus 18 that is going to give us uh, 12. So this side is going to be 12 as well. So let's go ahead and calculate area a sub 2 for this rectangle. In our case our length is 15 and width is 12. Let's go ahead and multiply them out. 15 times 12 that is going to give us 180. So therefore a sub 2 turns out to be 180 square units. Therefore our a sub 2 turns out to be 180. And finally we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle a sub 3 and we know that this whole length is 48 units. This length is 21. This length is 15. So therefore this length has got to be 48 minus 21 and then minus 
15 and if we subtract that thing that's going to give us 12 units and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times base time height in our case our base is 12 for this triangle and our height is 12 as well so therefore our area s of 3 is going to be a half times 12 times 12 and if we simplify area s of 3 turns out to be 72 square units thus our area s of 3 turns out to be 72 so thus the total area of this whole shape is going to become the sum of this uh, a sub 1, a sub 2 and a sub 3. Let's go ahead and add them up. So I'm going to add 549 plus 180 plus 72 and that is going to add up to 801 square units so thus the area of this given shape turns out to be 801 square units and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the perimeter of uh, this uh, shape and we can see that we know all these uh, side lengths as you can see over here except uh, this one so we need to find the length of uh, this uh, diagonal side and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, triangle and we can see that this is a right triangle therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this longest leg as c this side I'm going to call a and this side I'm going to call b let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a in our case is 12 so this become 12 square b is 12 again so 12 square equal to c square so therefore we're gonna get uh, 144 plus uh, 144 equal to c square or i can write c square equals to 2 times 144 let's go ahead and take a uh, square root uh, on uh, both sides so therefore c is going to be equal to 12 times uh, square root 2 and here i have simplified the right hand side so thus our this side c turns out to be 12 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and here's our final step we know that the perimeter is going to be the sum of all these side lengths we are going to start uh, from here 21 18 15 12 times square root of 2 48 9 9 9 and 9 once again and finally 12 as you can see in this uh, next step let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the right hand side so our perimeter p turns out to be 150 plus 12 times square root of 2 units are in terms of decimal so perimeter is going to be approximately equal to 166.97 units so thus here is the perimeter of this uh, given shape as you can see and thus here is the area and the perimeter of this given shape and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye